today I'm here with my friend David. You probably remember him from doing uh, Can I Land with Synthetic Vision videos. And although we love Synthetic Vision and playing with it, if you live around North Dallas, you're living on top of a pancake. There's nothing there to look at. You're lucky if you can like correlate out the window looking at a lake with a lake showing up on Synthetic Vision. So today we thought we would fly up to Oklahoma, Tallahena, Oklahoma, where there's some um, rapidly rising terrain, not quite mountains, but better than we've got, and show what does it look like comparing out the window to what four flight synthetic vision is showing. Well, here we are, we've landed in Tallahena, Oklahoma. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell in the background, but we finally have something other than pancake flat terrain. There are a few rolling hills, and on the map, it's marked uh, rapidly rising terrain. So we're going to mount the cameras on the plane, and we are going to fly through the valleys between the ridges up here, and see what kind of footage we can capture with uh, four flight synthetic vision. Approaching runway one nine. You know, uh, looking at your GPS, and I'll get the camera out here in just a second to take a, a, a picture of what we're looking at on your new uh, Avidyne. But boy, that, the terrain that it shows there is pretty stunning. It, it well. really does look good. Yeah. I, I think in the next version, too, they're coming out with uh, synthetic vision on the IFD 440 as well. Really? Uh, and I'm really glad that we have the cameras on the outside. What a beautiful view of the uh, valley here and a uh, perfect sunny day. It is, yeah. Couldn't be better for flying. No. Now we're on the north side of that ridge, so I'm guessing that we go up a little bit, we're going to get some turbulence. What do you think? And there might be as we move along the ridge here, a little bit of roll coming over the top of it. Luckily, a very, very calm day. Well, you know what you just described about, you know, the ridge and, and our friend Bruce flying that ridge. You know, we, we buzzards, I'm assuming, like that for the same reason. They do, yeah. A lot of lift, both thermal and, uh, what do you call the lift uh, caused by air movement up a ridge line? Ortho or, or a graph, orthographic? Uh, yeah, come on. I'll have to go pull yeah. out my POA. Or I, think my, uh, I think the term is or, or orthographic or or. I've got the right idea in my head, but I can't come up with the exact word. Orthographic. I'm going to go with that. And so we were talking earlier about places to land. Uh, you know, this is another downside of being in the mountains is that um, although it's really pretty here and a lot more scenic than where we normally fly, definitely a lot more limited options Absolutely. In, in, the, in the case of a uh, emergency landing. Yeah, I've, got a, I've got a batch of farm fields down here to my left. Yeah. But uh, that ridge line over there is nothing but wooded terrain. That's right. And I don't know if it picks up on the camera here, but the uh, Avidyne is showing a couple of towers in the valley here that we need to keep our eye out for. Yeah, so uh, again, we're, we're up in the hilly part of Oklahoma, and uh, we're transitioning. I think we've made it into Arkansas, and we're heading back toward uh, Oklahoma now. Okay. Uh, so we're in the hills, and we're and there's we're running in a valley with uh, with 
little hills on either side. You know, for us, they look pretty big, so for, uh, especially at this altitude. But we're doing this with synthetic vision running so that we can see the difference. What we're seeing out the window versus what the four-flight synthetic vision is showing us on the screen. Right. So that we can compare what would this be like if we could see out the window. Uh, how, you know, how is our perception versus the perception that we see with the uh, so with the synthetic vision different. Because before we've never had the opportunity to look at synthetic vision in a terrain other than just pan flat. That's right. And so, you know, a, a little lake might show up and you're like, wow, the lake actually showed up. But I just wanted to come up and try it out where the terrain was something other than in you know, a flat. And although it's only marked on the map as rapidly rising terrain, you know, it is not mountainous, but it's better than what we've got. And we're within reach of flying from Dallas to here. And the iPad's looking good. Something out ahead of me. Yeah, there's a buzzard out at uh, 1 o'clock. Yeah, got him. Uh, is that moved to our 3 o'clock? I don't know, that's damn big. And it looks like an air, that's a bald eagle. Oh, it is an eagle, wow. Well, yeah, look at the white head on that, that's a bald eagle. And he's turning around to see what we're doing. <laughs> Wow, you know, that thing looked huge out in front of me and I thought, it's like an airplane or a glider out there. Of course, it was a lot near, which made it look bigger, but you know, that white head gave it away. It was a bald eagle. And, and uh, another interesting fact about where we are today is there's been a lot of uh, controlled flight into terrain in this area. So this area is kind of notorious where we're flying right now, notorious for uh, airplane crashes because um, a couple of things. Most of the people who are flying up here are used to flat terrain. Right, right. And so it surprises them. And then the other reason is that this terrain is a little different than most ranges that it runs uh, east and west instead of north yeah. and south. So uh, people who thought they were going around a mountain were actually just going right into the right. side of a, another part of the range. And, you know, the geology up here is really interesting if you look at it from a uh, profile map. It, it's like the folds of an accordion. There are ridge lines that are running parallel to each other, about four or five of them, all the way from Oklahoma into Arkansas. And in fact, on top of one of the ridge lines back, I think in the 50s, the Corps of Engineers built the, it's called Palomina Parkway. And it is a scenic parkway that rides right along the top of the ridge line from Tallahena, Oklahoma to Mena, Arkansas. And it is the most beautiful view because when you're driving in your car, you literally are at the crest of that uh, ridge line. And you can look out to your left, you can look out to your right, and you feel like you're flying because you're up off the valley floor. So we'll kind of go by a little bit of ridge line over here, and we'll call it a day. Okay, I think we got some really great footage. Uh, I hope so. If the cameras are all working, we definitely would have. So Gene, I, I think that it was pretty accurate looking at the screen and looking at what we were seeing out the window. I think what we saw was pretty close to reality watching this attack. I, I think so too. Yeah. You know, if you were somehow trapped in low visibility, fog, whatever, cloud ceiling above you, it would give you a real fighting chance to negotiate the terrain below. That's true. That's true. And almost in the blink of an eye, it's over and the flatlands are out ahead. And I'd like to end with a huge thank you to all of you who support my videos on Patreon.